What up everybody, Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup, and I'm on the verge of moving, or I already moved to my new apartment with my beautiful lady and my beautiful daughter. So, I've been pretty busy doing this, and I haven't had the time to really, really do a review or watching movies, but I've watched some movies. And one of the movies I've seen uh, is actually the new Mortal Kombat. So I'm going to do a quick review for that film. So let's do it. Mortal Kombat is the newest HBO Max 2021 film. I saw it actually yesterday. You already know what Mortal Kombat is. I don't have to explain. It's the popular video game and you know, Mortal Kombat is a part of my childhood. I even liked the first film directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. I thought it's a guilty pleasure that is having a lot of fun. And to see that they were doing a new version of that film, I was I was quite excited. I wanted to see how they were going to do it. And the thing that really got me more excited is that this film was R-rated. So I was like, okay, give us the gory stuff. Give us the fatalities that we want. The trailer was pretty satisfying. The images we got to see was satisfying. So in the end, does this film deliver? Uh, this film is directed by Simon McCoy. And this film is starring Lois Tan, Jessica McNamee, Jota Slim, Todd Brooks, and the awesome Hiroyuki Satanada. And the plot of the film is that it's about the MMA fighter Cole Young that pretty much get involved in the Earth's greatest champion, the Mortal Kombat and he has to fight. He had to stand with a group of mismatched fighters and pretty much fight against the enemies of the outworld. That is pretty much the plot of the film. I'm gonna say it like this. Mortal Kombat, this version is, is above average, man. I enjoy this film. I don't love this film, but I enjoy this film for what it was. Um, the thing that I really enjoy, obviously, is the gory stuff, the R-rated. I think that they give us what we really wanted, and that is, you know, the some of the fights are pretty satisfying and pretty awesome. The the fights that I really enjoy is actually the the fights with Sub Zero, and the first fight we get to see uh, with Hiroyuki as Scorpion. I thought that that scene was freaking amazing and it is bloody as hell it reminds me so much of that scorpion film that came out uh the animated film that came out earlier last year it was really good it reminded me of that film the film overall mortal kombat the franchise if they're going to continue to do sequels i think that the franchise is pretty much in good hands uh because some of my quite does a great job but pretty much you know doing all of this stuff and it's a hard task to do because you have to pretty much satisfy the, the the fans of the video game and you also have to bring the newcomers to the world of Mortal Kombat and I think he does a great job uh, without you know stewing down to the fans or the newcomers so obviously like i said you know the gourd already stuff was great uh another thing that i really enjoy is the fight scenes i think the fight scenes or the fi the fighting choreography overall is just it's great man it's great and once again i gotta say jota slim is awesome as a sub-zero man he is freaking psychotic this is the villain that we needed in this film you know he's great i like him since the raid so i always wanted him to pretty much be awesome i think that he does a great job at sub-zero and also scorpion is good in this film um another person that i really enjoy was uh i don't remember the actor but the actor who plays Liu kang uh he was great in this film but i think everybody was like doing a great job with this film you know uh some characters were more of a secondary character and felt more to the background but overall i gotta say that 
the big names in this film is Sonia, uh, Liu Kang, uh, Cole, uh, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion. These fives, they are pretty much the headliners in this film, so yeah. Another thing that I really enjoy is that the direction overall, it, it, was, it was good. It looks good. It feels like uh, you, you are set in the world of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you know, uh, I think that they did a great job by, you know, uh, giving us the cinematography that really feels... You have the desert, you know, the the... the there's woods, the jungle, and stuff like that. But I think that he does a great job by giving all of those shots. And, you know, obviously you got the factories and the streets and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the messed up places. But it works well with the Mortal Kombat lore overall. And like I said, the cinematography is great. So, yeah. Another thing that I really enjoy overall is the acting. I'm not going to say for everybody. But some of the acting is is quite good, you know. I think that Lois Tan as Cole, he's good. Uh, Kung Lao was good. Um, once again, my favorite Sub Zero by Jota Slim, he was awesome. Uh, Scorpion was good. They were pretty much the people that was they were doing a wink wink, but they were acting serious. So. They were pretty much perform. They were pretty much giving a good performance to this film and giving us a film that can be pretty much, you know, uh, a wink, wink, or be pretty much a cringe. But they, they do a great job of not doing it and giving their all in in this film that is Mortal Kombat. So yeah, okay, let's talk about it. The thing that I did not enjoy with this film overall, to me, is gotta be i think that the, this third act is is not good uh even though it's it's you know a lot of fight scenes i think that the plot it, it loses its plot structure because the plot i think that the first act does a great job by setting the universe of you know the outer world and cold because in the you know first first of all Cole is our main avatar and we get to follow his journey. So I think that they set the world pretty much great for him. And, you know, he's the fish out of the water. So we are pretty much going to relate to him. And I think the first act is doing a great job. So to me, it was passable. The second act, it was a lot of action scenes that I enjoy. But to me, it didn't pretty much complete the, the the second act for what it is and it felt like it didn't have that structure that i wanted you know being the middle part being the, the 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 act that slows down and takes time and builds up to the main conclusion that is the third act so when the third act came i was quite disappointed i was let down by it so I think the act structure, it wasn't good. Another thing that I did not like is the dialogue. Some people are spewing out lines from the game. So, you know, the first two, three times, it was funny. I was like, yeah, I like it. Good job. But after a while, you know, giving us 20 lines from the games, it's like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It was just, it feels like someone was just doing this for the fans and being like, hey, get fat. hey guys, see, I, I know the reference, so yeah. It's just too much. It's like somebody trying to be, uh, get the improvement for people. And another thing that I did not enjoy is it, it, going back to the act structure and that is the plot. The plot, not good. And the thing is that this film is so extremely fast paced. A lot of stuff is happening. It has a lot of characters to, to pretty much introduce and give them some type of arcs, but it's like, it's just too much stuff happening. So overall, I think that the plot gets overshadowed by the actors and, and all of the fight scenes. And it's like, it's too much stuff happening. And it goes from one place to another place and another place to another place. And it's like, slow down, slow down. Give me five minutes to marinate, Jesus Christ. So it's just too goddamn much. I see what you're doing, but
but I think that this film should not be a film. It should probably be a mini series on Netflix or HBO Max. And another thing I did not like is the CGI. The CGI overall, it, it, it's not that good. You can see some flaws with the CGI. You can see where some of the characters are doing some great <laughs> acrobatic stuff, but it looks really cartoonish and it looks, it doesn't look believable. I think that this film is enjoyable. I had fun watching this film. When it comes to the gory stuff and the fight scene, it delivers, but, and the acting, some of the acting is great. And I think that this film needs maybe two, three films uh, so they can build the lure and the world of Mortal Kombat. Right now, you know, it has a lot of flaws. And the more you think about it, the more you just like, oh man, but <sighs> I'm still pretty satisfied for what it is. I don't know if I'm going to say that this film is better than the first one. Uh, I think the first one to me, just it has that nostalgic factor uh, that I like, but it's a hundred times better the Annihilation because Annihilation sucked so that's that's a good thing <laughs> so anyways my rating on Mortal Kombat 2021 I'm gonna give Mortal Kombat 2021 2.6 I enjoy it you know I have fun it just has a lot of stuff that it needs to build to the sequel because right now it doesn't have that. Anyways, man, obviously some people already speculated who Cole Young is. And you know, Cole, I'm not gonna spoil who he is, but in the end, you know, his character arc, does it deliver the theories that you guys are talking about? Yeah. Anyways, man, what do you think about Mortal Kombat? Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Write your comments down below, let your boy know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup, and that was my review for the film Mortal Kombat 2021. Until next time, guys, I'm giving you out there. Peace.